for this picture here, uh, you don't need to know too much of the details. You only need to know that, okay, the um, flagellum, you're gonna find flagellum in sperm, in bacteria, and um, you can find cilia in the windpipe and the, um, and, uh, in the, in the track, respiratory tract. You don't need to know the uh, structure, the uh, detailed structure, um, the what, nine microtubule doublet for the, the triplet in the, uh, uh, in the cytoskeleton. No, you don't need to know that. Just need to know flagellum, you can find it in sperm and bacteria. Cilia, you can find it in the, um, in the respiratory tract. You can also find cilia in the fallopian tube, which is the uterine tube. Okay, the last part is the evolution. I briefly talk about this, the hypothesis of the uh, 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 mitochondria and chloroplast. So we, from the fossil record, we suggested that the first cell, they are from prokaryote. Prokaryote uh, come first, develop first, and then eukaryote. Archaea, remember we have three domains, bacteria, archaea, and eukaryote. So archaea is uh, closely related to eukaryote, and then um, eukaryote evolved from prokaryote. So we have prokaryote first, and then we have eukaryote later. So this is what I told you about chloroplast and, uh, and mitochondria, and those in biotic theory. Mitochondria and chloroplast derived from, uh, we believe that mitochondria and chloroplast, they are from prokaryote. It's just that uh, we get, we include them into our body. Mitochondria only have trophic bacteria, chloroplast, uh, cyanobacteria. They enter the whole cell and then they live cooperatively. This is something that I told you before. So the prokaryotic cell it has its own DNA, and then um, then it gain nucleus, become eukaryote, and then it develop the endomembrane system for secretion. Remember, secreting protein and fat, and then some of them, the aerobic bacteria, get incorporated into the cell. In become the mitochondria, and the photosynthetic bacteria become become in the plant cell, so that it uh, it will uh, become a chloroplast. Uh, make sure that you know that the aerobic bacteria they also get incorporated the chloroplast to become the mitochondria in the chloroplast. So it says that cell gains chloroplast and mitochondria here to become plant cell. So it says that. Plant cell has both mitochondria and chloroplast, so this is important. This is also important. Animal cell has mitochondria but not chloroplast. So um, what support this hypothesis? They are similar to bacteria, meaning that both chloroplast and mitochondria, they are bacteria in terms of size and structure. They both have double membrane. They believe that the outer membrane of the chloroplast and mitochondria, they are originally from the engulfing vesicles. The internal one, the inner membrane, is the original plasma membrane of the prokaryote. Um, they have their own genetic material, and they can divide, they can do mitosis by themselves. So um, for they have they can make their own protein. They have their own protein. They can have they have their own ribosomes. And the ribosome looks like the prokaryote. The RNA of the um, of the of the mitochondria and chloroplast they are prokaryotic origin. So that's it for uh, this uh, lecture.